No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey everyone, I'm Micah from No Film School. We're here with Brian from Red Rock Micro, and they're going to show us not only the new stuff, but they're going to follow up on the stuff we saw last year, which is now in action. So the first thing is I want to show you that this is the first production version of Halo. This is, as you can nice. see, it's much, much smaller. It's about uh, six ounces total. It runs on a Canon LP6 battery. Um, and this is a uh, point system. So this is basically Halo, all the technology we saw last time, but it's wherever you point it is what it's going to automatically focus track. So all the nice things about moving between automated focus and manual focus is all in here. Um, a companion piece to this is our new Atlas motors. And what's cool about these is this is the entire remote system. So there's no brain, there's no base station. Um, everything is contained within this housing unit. It's got long range uh, radio, but it also has a Wi-Fi built in. So we have an app that you can have that will give you sort of a one channel um, focus control pretty much built in, it's for free. What I really like about this is the, all these pieces work together. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug these in. And what you can see is actually the motor powering up. So your entire halo system for focus tracking as a solo operator is, is literally this, these pieces. There's no extra batteries, there's no other pieces. It's just this amount of stuff. And that's specifically for autofocus. Yes, this is specifically for autofocus. Now this is actually a complete remote system. So you can turn on our wireless hand unit is gonna work for that. Um, as you can see here, we've got a couple of these daisy chained together for focus and iris. We have a new navigator command module. This is a new finger wheel. It's got a, a dual channel um, finger wheel, but it's a seven in one grip. So in addition to that, I have uh, option number one, which is our zoom control. Number two, the, one of the other things we heard about was a problem of just getting the monitor correctly positioned. So we have this thing called orbit. This allows me to oh, adjust yeah, it's automatically. So this is a manual version of this. Uh, Omar is going to demonstrate, as we talk about it, the ability to, to uh, have it done automatically. So okay. as you raise and lower the gimbal, you'll see that it actually tracks and uh, positions the monitor to always uh, face you. So it's a real time saver, but also kind of greatly expands your range of motion in terms of operating your gimbal and so forth. Yeah, so I think we've really expanded the range, probably about 50% high and low in terms of still getting accurate framing, being able to see your monitor and make all those things work. The last piece is it actually has an integrated uh, gimbal control, so there's a uh, pan and uh, tilt. And we also have a roll trim, so if people are trying to just get a little bit of trim off the, uh, the gimbal, they can do that. So this is all from a single grip. Nice. Um, the built-in run stop, again, all these pieces work together, so when I press this button, you can see everything on this is actually turning red. If I was to activate um, Halo Solo by double-clicking this, it actually turns blue. So I can see it's telling me it's recording and uh, Halo Solo is active as well. So there's a lot of visual cues that tell me what's actually what's going on here. So if you want to activate, if you want to just have your your focus fixed, but uh, but you want to be able to have manual control, you can do combinations. Yeah, so right. basically the idea is you want focus tracking automatic for you, you can do that. You want to do manual focus, we've got a great tool, we've got a wireless unit that allows you to do that. If you want to handle iris and zoom, we've got a solution for that now. And again, this is the entire unit, so you just add, it's about a thousand bucks per channel. So if you want to just add channels in one channel increments, you can do that. So this is a really beefy looking remote control. What, what is this? So this for? is, if you're going to be shooting aerial cinematography, this is what you already own, right? This is the um, the device that allows you to uh, control the drone. You fly it, you move it around, you change the gimbal around. What we've demonstrated here is this is our motor. This would be the drone piece that's already on the gimbal. We just sort of pulled it out to give the example. And what we've done is we've plugged it into the S bus. So it's taking power from the drone. It's using the wireless connection to the device you already own. And here what we've done is we've mapped uh, the focus control to this particular um, unit. Now you can map it to any of these devices. We just choose this particular one. But the important thing is all everyone who's doing area photography owns this stuff. 
And we've taken this motor and basically said, you don't have to have power, you don't have to have an additional radio. This thing is actually plugs directly into your drone and becomes more part of your drone than you're gonna add a separate system in there. I mean, these things work from thousands of meters away and because now we're integrated in, to the transmitter and the receiver, we have the exact same range. Whatever range they have, we have the same range. The second is, it's small enough and simple enough that all the lens controls and camera controls that you want to do, you don't have to pull the drone out of the sky to make those adjustments. You can do them in real time right there. What's the price point and availability on the Atlas motor? So the Atlas motors, again, these are a completely self-contained unit uh, as far as a remote focus. It's $1,000 a channel, so 1000 bucks will get you a working uh, single channel system as you add focus and iris, just an additional 1000 bucks uh, per. We're taking pre-orders now. Uh, these are shipping in the summer. Uh, the same is true for the Halo Solo. So everything we've seen today is in pre-order now. It's going to be shipping in the summer. Halo Solo is going to be about $1,200. Uh, the Navigator uh, multifunction grip is going to be about $595. And again, it's got seven grips in one. The Orbit is going to be about $895 for the automated and the manual uh, versions. So basically, if you are a solo operator and you want, you say, I want all that stuff. Like, it's perfect. I want this combination of manual and automated control. The total price tag is somewhere around $4,000. Four thousand and change, maybe four thousand forty-five hundred dollars for all the things that we talked about. So, if you're shooting gimbals, you're doing a lot of these sort of advanced uh, shots that you really want to do yourself, but you still want something that's going to work in a crew. You want to be able to pick up a wireless remote and be able to pull focus. All those things are going to be able to do all that. Right on. Yeah. All right. So that's the Eclipse system from Red Rock Micro. Thanks, Brian. Great. Appreciate it.